Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. HIDA Scan Introduction A HIDA scan can help healthcare providers diagnose problems with the way the liver, gallbladder, and bile ducts are working. This program explains HIDA scans. It discusses the reasons the test is done and what to expect before, during, and after the procedure. The digestive system. The digestive system helps the body digest and absorb the food we eat. This section explains the anatomy of the digestive system. It will help you understand problems that may affect the digestive system. Swallowed food goes through the esophagus and enters the stomach, where it is partially digested. Partially digested food goes from the stomach to the small intestines. Nutrients are further digested and absorbed there. Fibers and digested food finally reach the colon. The colon absorbs water and is a storage area for stool. The liver, gallbladder, and pancreas make juices to help digestion. The liver makes bile to help your body digest fats from your food. The gallbladder stores and releases bile after a meal. HIDA scan. A HIDA scan can help healthcare providers diagnose problems with the way the liver, gallbladder, and bile ducts are working. HIDA stands for hepatobiliary aminodiacetic acid. Aminodiacetic acid is a safe radioactive chemical that is injected into your arm. Doctors call this a tracer because it traces the path of liquid flowing through the body. The gallbladder responds to the tracer as if it were bile. A gamma camera is used to watch the flow of the tracer from your liver to your gallbladder and intestine. Your healthcare provider can see problems with the way bile moves through the body by watching the tracer. A HIDA scan can help diagnose inflammation of the gallbladder or cholecystitis. It may alert the healthcare provider of a blocked bile duct. A HIDA scan can help diagnose biliary atresia or other problems with the bile ducts. It can also help identify complications after surgery, like fistulas. A HIDA scan may be done to see if you need a liver transplant. It can show the healthcare providers how quickly bile leaves your gallbladder. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Before the procedure Your healthcare provider may give you specific instructions on how to prepare for your HIDA scan. You may need to fast before the HIDA scan. Ask your healthcare provider how long you should fast and what you can drink while you fast. Certain medications may interfere with your HIDA scan. Tell your healthcare provider about any medications you are taking. He or she may ask that you delay taking your medications on the day of your scan. Certain medications may make it easier for the nuclear radiologist to interpret the results of your HIDA scan. Whether you will need these medications depends on the reason for your scan. You may receive an infusion or injection of a medication along with the injected radioactive tracer. The medications may be injected right before or during your HIDA scan. In rare instances, you may be asked to start taking a medication a few days before your scan. During the procedure You may be asked to change into a hospital gown before your HIDA scan begins. You will lie on a table. A healthcare provider will inject the tracer into a vein in your arm. You may have a feeling of pressure during the injection. The tracer is sent through the blood to your liver and is treated like bile in your body. From the liver, the tracer is taken into the gallbladder. Then it travels to the small intestine through the bile ducts. As you lie on the table, a gamma camera shows images of the tracer traveling inside your body. The gamma camera takes pictures continually for about an hour. 
you will need to stay still during the HIDA scan. This can become uncomfortable. If it is, let your healthcare provider know. Take deep breaths and try to think about other things. As the tracer goes through your body, a radiologist will watch. The HIDA scan may be stopped when the radioactive tracer is seen in the gallbladder and enters your small intestine. This typically takes about an hour. In some cases, extra imaging will be performed if the original images are not satisfactory. Other medications are given to help visualize or look at the contraction of the gallbladder. This test usually takes about two hours. In most cases, you can return to your normal activities after your HIDA scan. You may still have some of the radioactive tracer in your body. You will flush out the radioactive tracer in your urine over the course of 24 hours. You may be told to drink extra fluids to help your body get rid of the tracer. Risks and complications Complications are not likely and there are few risks to hide a scan, but it is important to know about the potential risk and complications. You may be able to help your healthcare provider identify problems. The risks of HIDA scan include allergic reactions to the substance injected, bruising where the needle was inserted, rash. A HIDA scan could be harmful for a fetus because of the exposure to radiation. Tell your healthcare provider before the scan if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. They may decide not to move forward with the scan. The amount of radioactive tracer injected into your arm during a HIDA scan is small. The radioactive tracer gives off radiation for several hours and then becomes inactive. The gamma camera that takes images during a HIDA scan does not give off any radiation. Test results In HIDA scan images viewed on a computer monitor, the tracer appears as regions of dark color on a lighter background. The darker the color in a given area, the greater the amount of radioactive tracer. The movement of this dark color may show that the radioactive tracer was able to move freely through your liver, bile ducts, and gallbladder and into the small intestine. This means that no problems were found. If the radioactive tracer is missing from certain areas on a scan, it may mean there is a blockage or a problem with the liver. If the radioactive tracer is not seen in your gallbladder, you may have inflammation or swelling of the gallbladder. If there is radioactive tracer somewhere other than where bile is supposed to be, there might be a leak. Your healthcare provider will discuss your specific results with you. HIDA scans usually cannot diagnose a problem. To diagnose a specific condition, your healthcare provider will consider the results of your scan with your signs and symptoms, other imaging scans, other test results. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary A HIDA scan can help healthcare providers diagnose problems with the way the liver, gallbladder, and bile ducts are working. HIDA stands for Hepatobiliary Aminodiacetic Acid. Aminodiacetic acid is a safe radioactive chemical that is injected into your arm. Doctors call this a tracer because it traces the path of liquid flowing through the body. Your healthcare provider can see problems with the way bile moves through the body by watching the tracer. You will lie on a table. A healthcare provider will inject the tracer into a vein in your arm. You may have a feeling of pressure during the injection. As you lie on the table, a gamma camera shows images of the tracer traveling inside your body. The gamma camera takes pictures continually for about an hour. The risks of HIDA scan include allergic reactions to the substance injected, bruising where the needle was inserted, rash. HIDA scans usually cannot diagnose a problem. To diagnose a specific condition, your healthcare provider will consider the results of your scan with your signs and symptoms, other imaging scans, other test results. Complications are not likely, and there are few risks to hide a scan, but it is important to know about the potential risks and complications. You may be able to help your healthcare provider identify problems. 
Thank you for using Explain.